Vista cleanup at the moment is giving us an opportunity for us to learn more about the impacts of pollution and we're doing a survey at the moment for us to get basic quantity and knowledge and also to get access to as much data as we can. This is the first time that the cleanup is being held on the outer islands. We are still doing sorting since it's four days now. We have started the project on Koichibi. Uh, by, by the 10th day, basically we don't have a target. We're just doing the much as we can to collect as much data. We get everything. We've got, uh, what is it, uh, light, cigarette lighters. We've got boys from uh, fads yeah? or from ships. Uh, there's lots and lots of plastic boys just washing up. And there are nets which entangle tortoises and other wildlife in the sea. It's, a, it's a disaster. If we, it will become a, a greater disaster if we don't do something about it. Some items have barcodes that can be traced, but most of them uh, don't. And personally, over the year, I've seen a lot of uh, waste that seem to come from uh, factories. Normally, we use the phone number to get the region code so we can know exactly where it is, but they've lost the phone number here. But we can clearly see that the label there says Malaysia. It's Malaysian water. And most of the time, the labels are from foreign countries and not locally from the Seychelles. Yeah, and basically, there's quite a lot, I can say. A lot. It's appalling. Uh, the consequences of marine pollution, it's real. Um, and littering also, it's real. There are impacts, especially when you're on the outer islands. Basically, you can see how much, how much the environment, the ecosystem itself, it's being affected. In terms of the ocean, there, there is a real impact because most of the small particles that's on the beach that has already finished the process of breaking down, you cannot pick them up. Um, so it goes back into the ocean and it does affect marine life.